today I want to show you three tips on how to color on Desmos. So a bit of context on what I mean by that and that is is uh, if you use inequalities on here. So typically uh, if you write an equation you write like y, y equals some function of x but if you if you throw an inequality symbol on here you can see that that you have regions being shaded. Now I'm using a less than equal sign, which is why I see a solid line here. But if you if you decide to make it a plain less than sign, you can see uh, these lines are dotted, uh, and that's because we want to encompass all values except for this all line here. It's strictly less than, not less than or equal to. Uh, and uh, you could also bound values, bound or x between values, like if I do minus 2 is less than or equal to x, so x is between minus 2 and uh, and positive 2, you can see now that I've uh, restricted this region, I like keeping my line solid. Now if you want to restrict your y instead, just replace your x with your y and I you can see you're, you're restricting your y. So that, that is a, a brief overview on what I'm talking about. So first tip is uh, if you is if your shape is a closed loop, like for example, this is, this is going to be an overused example, but I'm going to be using this a lot in this video. If I if, if I wrote a closed loop equation like this, let's make this a little bigger. You see by default the solid line. That's that, that's what uh, that's why I've been using it everywhere. Uh, but if I if I if I make this an inequality, you can see that I bound out all values within it. Now, if you want all values outside of it, uh, you just simply flip the sign to be greater than or equal to. So so it's shading everything outside the circle rather than inside. Now, suppose you suppose you have more than more than one curve. Like if you want to shade a region between and two curves, for example. If I have this, here's one curve. This seems picking green a lot. Don't mind that. And I have another, another one like this. So as you can see, uh, so now I, now I want to color. The region between this green half circle here and and this purple half ellipse here, and so we, what we can do is let's copy both of them. Say so I want this to be on the upper bound. Uh, really, so let's don't do that. Upper bound should be the greater one, and the lower one should should be what's actually being less. So if this is confusing to you, so if, if uh, this looks confusing to you, uh, and you want less than or equal to who instead, uh, then uh, you can simply switch to order. So, so do that. So less than or y, less than or equal to y, and less than or equal to that, and uh, that's how you get get a region bounded between two. Uh, what most of you may have is that uh, you may not have cases like this. You, you may have more than one curve. Uh, uh, what, what I mean, what I'm talking about is, is yeah, um, so you have one curve like this, and you have another, let's draw two more. So I want to draw I want to draw a half circle radius one shift it over to the left, and I'm also going to draw another one shift it over to the right. Let's make this a different color so you can see this better. And so, so, so now so now I want to color the region between this this bigger half circle here and and. Uh, and these two smaller half circles combined. Uh, so I want to attempt to get this region inside here. Uh, and uh, 
And one way you can do this is I want to pick a pick on a lower bound first. Is you can say I say we want the want the blue line to be less than or equal to y, and we want that to be less than or equal to this symbol here to uh, this this red graph here, and then look at the next half by by taking taking this equation here and and uh, putting that down here. And uh, this, and uh, we can we can make this a little better by rather than and then write the same equation twice. We can call this we can make and make this a function of x, and, and uh, we'll replace both of them like that. So it's. So um so you, so you basically just write this once, and uh, and it, it is shorter to write this just like that, right? And uh, and uh, I'll I'll throw an extra one for you. So in in the case where, say we have, most of you may have have this case as well, where um, or suppose as we have we have a graph that looks like this. Make my x squared plus four, and let's draw no line going through this. Actually, this is a little confusing. Having two red lines, and want to capture the region between this point and this point here. Um, and uh, you notice that uh, by clicking on the intersection points, right? Um, and I have I've gotten Desmos to label what these two points are, so I can just get these two values, and uh, say I want. Oh, let's get the lower value first. X is less than equal to Y, less than this value here. And then and I use curly braces to. To uh, restrain the values, looks like it's already done it for us. Um, but but uh, I don't like this blue line keep going through. So uh, let's look at the point again. So I'm hovering my mouse over at this point here and it's saying this is x is equal to minus two point five six two. Go from here over to. Uh, 1.562. So you can see now that. Let's make it orange so you can see it better. So this is with the restraint. And. Okay, it looks like you don't actually need the constraint there. But if you if, if you did want to limit it, uh, this was what I wanted to show you. So if you only want it up to, up to zero, for example, they can do that. And then. Uh, and you can throw in another line that starts from this point. So let's do let's do that instead. So it's now this example will be more practical. To say, say uh, I don't actually want the line to go all the way through. I want this screw instead. So so grab that and. Uh, Do square root of x is less than y is less than or so so now I'm bat buying the square root of x with this uh, with with this parabola here and if we want to make them the same color that's fine and uh, let's just see our final results hide this and we and we got the shape going. Oh, the, the, uh, so those are tips. Uh, let me know which, which, which one's your favorite, or uh, if you have any other questions or what other tips you want to see, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments. Talk to you later.